Hello everyone, welcome to Talking Pictures Cinema. It's good to be back sharing with you my personal selection from what's coming on Talking Pictures TV over the coming fortnight. We've got some very rare British films for you coming up. There's The Spare Tires, Nearest and Dearest, What the Butler Saw and many more. It's always a real buzz when we find a film that's completely lost, like The Spare Tires. Made in 1967, this British short comedy film was directed by Michael J. Lane and features Terence Alexander, Judy Franklin, Pauline Yates and Frank Finlay. It was written by Donald Churchill, who was married to Pauline Yates at the time. Donald was a great actor and writer. You will see his name regularly pop up on TPTV. The film tells the story of, you guessed it, some spare tyres. I won't spoil it for you, but it's possibly one of the funniest 30 minutes of comedy from the 60s you've ever seen. I really want you to put this film on your calendar. Nearest and Dearest from 1972 gets a very rare British TV screening on TPTV. It's a great British comedy film directed by John Robbins and starring some of the TPTV favourites. Hilda Baker, Jimmy Jewell, Norman Mitchell and lots of familiar faces. Watch out for the great youth of Joyce who pops up as Mrs Rowbottom. It's a spin-off from the long-running TV sitcom Nearest and Dearest. Baker and Jewel are feuding brother and sister, Nellie and Ellie Pledge, owners of Pledge's Pura Pickles. Well, that's a wonder a mouthful. It's a lot of innocent fun and a kind of bumper bundle of seaside postcard jokes, with acting honours going to Jimmy Jewel. Underrated as a character actor, don't miss it. Next, it's one for us all to enjoy, A Month of Sundays, made in 1989, starring Hume Cronin and Vincent Gardinia. It's a great perceptive drama by playwright Bob Larby. Bob Larby spent most of his professional life writing for British television. Most of his work was in partnership with another Englishman, John Esmond, a Month of Sundays is very rarely seen on British TV. It honestly is a superb film incorporating the subtle humour and feel of both Cocoon and Driving Miss Daisy. It tells the story of two old friends spending their twilight years in a nursing home who are determined not to give up to senility and join the zombies. I know how that feels. <laughs> It's been very busy in the office recently regarding the ending of the brilliant Bruno Kremers series of Maigret in French. One of the hundreds of letters was one from Mr Braithwaite. Hello, Noel. Mon Dieu. We went to tune in to our usual Tuesday night viewing of Maigret with Bruno Kremer this week and saw there was a film in its place. Has the presentation of this series now come to an end? We are big fans of this version, sad if it has finished. Many thanks, D. Braithwaite from Kent. We played all 50-odd episodes that were made, but it has been so successful and we've had so many requests. We're going to rerun the whole series, probably in October, but possibly in, in September. We'll make that decision in the next week. Three more of these great rare British bees are coming up. Meet Simon Cherry, Five Days and What the Butler Saw. Meet Simon Cherry is a typical foggy mystery made in 1949. Directed by Geoffrey Grayson, it stars Hugh Moxley and Jeanette Tregarden. A reverend takes refuge at a manor house after getting lost and unexpectedly becomes involved in a murder case, wouldn't you just? Which leads nicely into another film, What the Butler Saw. Made in 1950, it's a typical sweet 50s comedy, directed by Godfrey Grayson, starring Edward Rigby, Henry Mollison and Michael Ward. 
An Earl returns from a tropical island and finds a stowaway in his luggage. And finally, a brilliant, taut British B crime film directed by none other than Montgomery Tully. Five Days was made in 1954. is a crime film starring Dane Clark, Cecil Chavot and Paul Carpenter. A man on the verge of bankruptcy pays his friend to organise a hit on him. But will his plan pay off? Tune in and find out. A very good TV adaption of Wuthering Heights is coming up, directed by David Skiner. It stars Robert Kavanagh as Heathcliff, Orla Brady as Cathy, Ian Shaw as Hindley, and Peter Davison as Joseph. This classic adaptation has something of an Irish feel, thanks to the casting of Orla Brady as a spunky Catherine and Robert Kavanagh as a brooding and menacing Heathcliff. This Heathcliff is not the romantic hero we saw in the Olivia Oberon version in the 1930s. He's bitter, tiresome, grotesque and unsympathetic. And yet his great love for Cathy shines through. Matching the novel pretty much chapter for chapter, this version does more with the last third of the book. This Wuthering Heights is uncompromising, dark and violent. And finally, I bring you Cromwell, Richard Harris and Sir Alec Guinness, starring this sweeping epic drama recounting the battle which raged between the monarchy and a commoner over the very soul of Great Britain. In 17th century England, ambitious country gentleman Oliver Cromwell, Harris, dared to challenge the political oppression and corruption which besieged his nation. Watching his power being usurped by a commoner, King Charles, strings to challenge his adversary. One man who will become absolute ruler, the other will be executed. Academy Award-winning costume design and spectacular photography by renowned cinematographer Geoffrey Umsworth made Cromwell an outstanding historical drama in tradition of Braveheart, directed by Ken Hughes. Well, thank you for joining me once again for the pick of what's coming up on your favourite channel. If you want to know more about what's happening at Talking Pictures TV, why not subscribe to our weekly newsletter, which drops into your mailbox every Sunday. If you'd like to write to me, you can get in touch via email at noel at talkingpicturestv.co.uk. If you prefer to put pen to paper, the address to write to is Talking Pictures TV, P.O. Box 592, Kings Langley, Hertfordshire, WD4 4DB. And do join me again next time I look at what's on Talking Pictures TV. Keep on spreading the word.